for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip of the Mad Cheese, as always. Got an update video for you guys. A title update. This is a massive title update. There's X Factors. There's mutt changes. There's practice mode in mutt now, which is insane. I'm going to go over all this stuff in today's video, uh, as well as some uh, live playbook changes. A lot of stuff. I mean, this is a really big update. Uh, just in time for Christmas. This is coming up pretty close, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to be getting this game. But this is really cool. A lot of this stuff uh, looks really awesome. So, as always, Woo! if you guys want to see me continue these type of videos, if you guys want to see me do update videos every time they come out, I try to do a weekly update video on player ratings because a lot of times it's all that comes out. But whenever a title update like this comes out, I got to bring this information to you guys as well. So, if you guys want to continue this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. I'm going to start off with, I'm not really sure what's the biggest thing here i'm not sure if it's the x factor changes uh the superstar players the new superstar players or if it's the uh the the practice mode in mud i think a lot of people i mean the way that they're building this i know a lot of people have been asking for it for a very long time uh but this is awesome i mean i might actually go back into mutt now i'm definitely going to start making mutt videos based off of the fact i mean i was kind of tired of it mutt this year kind of felt old and tired it felt like the same thing it just felt like a money grab there was way too many issues with it stuff like that to the point where i just stopped playing mutt altogether if you follow my channel for a while you know i played mutt for several years but now that practice mode is in it and not only that it's not just practice mode you can you can you know experiment with superstar x factors and stuff like that, that you don't even have which is really cool so it says here i'm just going to go over the information that's stated it says super superstar x factors and superstar abilities are enabled so users can easily test and experiment with all abilities available in ultimate team basically you can just go through every ability and find out what the most broken ones are for your scheme which is super cool because typically you had to buy them play some games realize you know what this isn't really working now you can go into a practice mode and find out what the best stuff is which is absolutely insane I'm, I'm, I'm totally in love with this idea of practice mode in mutt i didn't think i'd be so excited over something so simple as, as, as a practice mode in the game mode but this is looks absolutely awesome so as always i'm gonna go over some of the other information here when it comes to the practice mode uh scenarios in mutt because you can change skill type player type game style which i don't even think you can do in regular uh, practice mode which is pretty cool now you don't actually here's something that's kind of a downside is it's not a full uh, practice mode because you don't actually have uh, the ability to plug in a second controller so if you want to do defensive adjustments that everybody's doing to try to figure out something for that you can't really do that you can't like press the defense and stuff like that which is you know somewhat popular uh, style of defense you can't shade or you know make any adjustments which is kind of sad but other than that I mean it's a regular practice mode so at least you have that and I'm sure they'll add that feature over time maybe by next year or something like that but still very cool uh feature added to uh to madden ultimate team since i'm in the madden ultimate team let's just do all the madden ultimate team news the other big one i guess is the zero chill which is uh i think they changed even the um a lot of the presentation for the game now has like zero chill stuff to it um you know it's it's like the same promos every year based off of holidays like give us a new promo or something mix it up a little bit it feels like they're, they're just out of ideas when it comes to that stuff but still so moving on let's go to the gameplay updates let's go to these new x factors baby let's go to um you know what players got new x factors but let's go over the demoted ones the ones that lost them tyron matthew not having a great year the saints weren't having a great year rams bobby wagner not really having a great year these are a lot of these are based off the team have not having a great year than necessarily the players i'm sure bobby wagner and tyron matthew are still doing fine uh jerry alexander lost his uh he's been getting burnt on and off once again team's not having a good year camara lost his uh, I don't know if I said that right. I always get people making fun of me how I talk. Russell Wilson lost his. That's an obvious one. Darren Waller, I think he's hurt and he hasn't had much of a year. He's lost his. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott lost his. He's been playing pretty good lately. He's actually had a bit of a resurgence. He's, his is gone. Adam Thielen's gone. Uh, Michael Thomas, I don't even, I mean, that guy has he even played in the last couple of years. Gone. Uh, Devin McCourty, gone for the Patriots. Uh, and then uh, Rams, Matthew Stafford, which I didn't even know Matthew Stafford had one. Uh, but once again, there's a consistent theme there with the exception of Ezekiel Elliott and, and Adam Thielen. Those are the only two guys that are on teams with winning records right now that actually lost. Um, I, uh, the page McCourty might be too, but ultimately those guys are, everybody else is on like really seriously losing teams. So now that we went over the guys that lost their ability, let's go over the new guys that had them, starting with my boy Jalen Hurts, who got jukebox and fast break. So you can expect me to use the Ravens offense.
offense a lot more now that he has uh, fast break, which is a designed, improved blocking on design quarterback runs. I'm going to be running that offense crazy. The Ravens got a few players. Speaking of the Ravens, you have uh, Roquan Smith, who has deflator, tackle supreme, and flat zone KO. Uh, that's three different factors, which, you know, my dude only had two. Then uh, Justin Tucker's got Zen kicker and clutch kicker. The Broncos aren't having a very good year. I know that uh, Russell Wilson just lost his uh, X factor, but uh, Patrick Sertain got some superstar abilities, tip drill, outside shade, and short route KO, which obviously are all very cool. The Falcons aren't doing a ton either. I mean, they're having a decent year, but they got two guys added to the X to the uh, superstar list. Uh, AJ Terrell got inside shade and deep route KO. Very cool. Then you also have their kicker uh, who got precision kicker and focus kicker. So I guess he's having a very good year. I can't say I really follow kickers all around the league too well. The Packers got two. Uh, they got Rashawn Gary, who's actually out. I think he's out for the year with an injury, but he's still got swim club and no outsiders, uh, which is really cool for him, for Packers fans. And Aaron Jones, I w I'm surprised he didn't have anything because he's had a really good career so far got jukebox and reach for it uh jukebox is always important that's one of my favorite uh billies. i can't believe that my that, that jalen hurts my quarterback has it. i'm so juiced to use that team now the raiders kicker got focus kicker as well and then the lions got their first superstar they didn't even have one i didn't even know they didn't have one but mama ross st brown got short out elite that's all they have that's really sad and they're actually a decent team considering that um they have a lot of team speed but they're not you know and they're having a good year too like i don't know when they're maybe one of their running backs might get something next and then last but not least, I saved the Dolphins because last week I was complaining that uh, Tua just seemed to be favored over Jalen Hurts, but Tua didn't get anything and Jalen Hurts did. So, you know, there is one player on this team that got something that did add some to Jalen Waddle, short in elite and mid in elite. Uh, both of those things are going to be very tough considering how fast he is already. I mean, you could just basically, you know, he's probably going to be open all day anyway based off his speed, but to add those type of route running abilities is just going to make this team even more overpowered. So, moving on, let's go to the gameplay up there. Let's go to these new X factors baby so starting off with the new x-factor players we're gonna go uh, i'm gonna start off with my eagles because the eagles got two we got uh, aj brown which definitely makes sense coming off of a huge two touchdown performance against his former team basically single-handedly winning that game he got max security uh which if you guys don't know sure-handed pass catcher it says that uh, when he enters the zone his max security ability will increase his success rate and decrease knockout chance on possession catches which is great uh, i use the eagles a lot so i'm gonna be i'm gonna have fun with that then we have uh, Darius Slay, who has probably been the best cornerback in the league this year. Uh, he got shut down, which when he enters the zone, his coverage is tighter. Interceptions are more frequent on contested catches. Both very cool. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some other players that aren't on the Eagles. Uh, but it's cool that the Eagles got two. No other team got two. Mark Andrews got yak him up. Uh, that's, you know, basically when he enters the zone, he is guaranteed, almost guaranteed to break the first tackle post catch, which is awesome for a big, strong tight end like that. That's going to be a really cool function for people that use the Ravens. Then you got first one free uh, for Saquon Barkley, which is surprising that he never had one. I guess coming off of a couple of injury riddled seasons, it doesn't really surprise me. But uh, his first, uh, you know, increases the chance of his first fake out on his first juke uh, spin or hurdle. Which you know that's 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 none of these are actually new uh, X factors. They're just on new players. Max Crosby. I've had a lot of people. Let me tell you. Every week I put out my my video. There's people in the Raiders in the comment section saying that Max Crosby deserves an X factor. We well, got one Raiders fans. Uh, but when he enters the zone, it says his rush move attempts are free, uh, which is really cool. Max Crosby's a great player. He's more like top five in the league in sacks right now. And then uh, reinforcement for Demario Davis, which is his chances of uh, defeating run blocks. Uh, tackling runners and disrupting catches go up obviously when he when he's in the zone so uh so that's what six new players that got x factors uh, i hope that's you know sufficient i was hoping that jalen hurts would get one but then i scroll down a little bit and we got new superstar players now since we're in the uh gameplay updates there's a lot of actual gameplay updates when it comes to playbooks and uh pass coverage and catching in the game which i don't see anything really about like defenses changing but there is some tuning to man coverage that might be uh something that since everybody's playing man coverage is gonna be important so let's get to that next uh tuning to man coverage positioning for defensive backs when covering slow receivers decreasing the amount of cushion so that the defender can better make plays on balls so if you have slower receivers um it, it looks like number one i mean cornerback depth was always an indicator when it comes to uh, what defense your opponent is in. So this might be a new way to tell that your opponent is in man coverage uh, based off of the cornerback depth changing based off the speed of receiver, which is very interesting. So that's something that I might have to make a topic on in the future, uh, but that's something that uh, you know, you're know you gonna have to be aware of. So if you have slow receivers and you're trying to hit like a comeback route or something like that, 
Typically, it gets open against man coverage or like a curl route or something like that. Typically, it gets open against man coverage, but with a slow receiver, it might not because the cushion is not going to be the same. So that's definitely something to uh, to watch out for. That you know, like I said, everybody's playing man coverage, so you're probably going to run into that. Then it also says fix an issue allowing user controlled defenders to automatically trigger interception catches. They've been trying to reduce interceptions in this game pretty much since the year came out because people are complaining. They're throwing way too many interceptions. So this is just another attempt to fix that. This is something that I'm not even necessarily sure is going to make a huge difference, but I have noticed that sometimes I'll just run into the ball and catch the ball for no reason. Uh, it hasn't happened a ton, so I don't really think this is going to reduce interceptions too much, but it's still something that is definitely um, you know something that's going to help. They also changed some things when it comes to catching, uh, which is something that I know the aggressive catch glitch is something that um, is running the game. A lot of people are just high pointing balls and catching stuff all the time. Uh, I haven't seen anything about high pointing being reduced uh, or aggressive catching being reduced, but it does say fix an issue giving a catch chance that was way too high for lower rated receivers on catch on, on uh, highly contested balls. So that does sound like you're gonna get more knockouts. Um, you know, I don't think it's gonna result like in last in previous man's that resulted more tip ups. That would be like tip picks. I don't think that's going to be the case. But I do think that what they're trying to do is make sure that only the best receivers in the game are actually coming down with every single catch. So if you are one of those people that's just aggressive catching all the time or you know back shoulder throwing and coming down with the ball, it sounds like that might be reduced and you might only be able to do it with like the best receivers, which you know pretty much every single team still has a highly rated receiver that should be able to do that anyway. So I don't think that will reduce that too much, but you just going to have to focus on who your best receiver is if you're going to do that. Then it also says fix an issue allowing receivers to catch tip passes when they shouldn't have so that's something that um you know receivers are kind of op this year moving on to live playbooks um there's some additions to the houston texans uh iphone pro got the hat has some halfback toss plays in it now uh they kind of patched the alignment again for the rpo reflat wheel uh because that's something that i guess they, whenever they patched it last time it was resulting in false start penalties every time you try to use it which isn't 100 percent true it isn't every time because i did have somebody running against me and it didn't have the penalty which i was totally surprised but i have heard people say that you were getting uh you know penalties pretty much every single time you ran that play after the patch which i thought they did on purpose i guess not because they tried to fix it back uh arizona cardinals are getting the pistol wing and some plays out of that the new orleans saints live book they removed the gun heavy formation which they just put in last patch so or last update so they took that out already one more gameplay issue it looks like they tweaked uh deep out elite ability apparently you were getting a hundred percent catch chance when the receiver isn't double coverage so they changed that which is probably a good thing because that sounds really broken uh they also fixed the focus kicker ability on on, on you know pats uh, a couple of small things so the gameplay changes were major it was this is really about x factors and uh, practice mode uh, into mutt making this look a lot bigger of a patch than it probably really is uh, but at the end of the day it's still a big patch uh, and there was a lot of improvements let me know what you guys think in the comment section i'm going to end the video there as always if you guys want to see me do more videos like this in the future make sure to be a subscriber hit like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below